porcupine. So how are you? I've missed you. Uh, it's been a while, so I thought I'd do an update because that's pretty much all I use this channel for anymore. And I haven't seen you, so I wanted to give you some update on my life. I actually wrote down what I want to say. Be proud of me, I just lost my pen. First off, my mom chopped off my hair, and I absolutely love it. It's so flippy. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Next, I want to give an update on Paige's. Pretty much nothing has changed since the, the little video I made about her, but she's so cute, it's ridiculous. One thing that I don't think I mentioned in the video before is that she's hypoallergenic and she doesn't shed. Um, which is awesome because my mom lets her be in the house and she's okay with her being in the house. My mom actually touches her. Here's the thing, my mom's not a huge animal person, but she actually touches her and by pick up, I mean she'll like pick her and lift her in her pack and play, freaking pack and play. She lifts her into the pack and play and lifts her out, but she'll pet her and t do stuff, you know, which is so awesome because mom does not do that normally. She's freaking out about the fact that I have an apartment with carpet and she thought there was going to be hair everywhere, but there's not. I can wear my black on black on black aesthetic and she doesn't get hair on me. It's awesome. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out the fact that my dad has filmed more of her on his phone uh, in the past week than he has of me in the last five years. So. If that says anything. Next thing I want to mention is that I have my move-in day for my apartment. Ah! Can, we, can we take a minute? Ah! I'm gonna be living on my own. I don't know. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But I'm also getting really nervous because it's getting real. Uh, I'm not gonna really freak out, I know, until my parents are gone. But I'm excited. I'm gonna be seeing you, which words cannot describe. Move-in date, which I didn't even say, is July 15th, so it's real. I would like to inform you that they still have not updated Full Frontal. Let me back up a little bit. So as you know, Alex Gascarth and Jack Barricat, also uh, Ryan and Jeff, but anyway, basically those two, have a podcast called Full Frontal, and it's basically taken over my life the past year. I've been listening to it for over a year now. Gone back, I've listened to... I thought I'd listen to actually every single episode, but last uh, month sometime, I found an episode that for some reason I hadn't downloaded it, and it was incredible. It was new, it was stuff I hadn't heard, and it made me so happy. For some reason, they've, they've stopped making them, and I don't think there's a reason why, and I, I follow like an update account on it, and it's like, X weeks since there's been a full funnel, X weeks since there's been a full funnel, X weeks since there's been a full funnel, for like the past, like, almost, what, like five, six months, and it's not cool. I'm not happy about it. I listen to that literally every day when I'm getting ready in the morning, at night, while I'm getting ready for bed, like in the car I listen to it, like it's ridiculous. I'm slightly obsessed with this show. I would just like to say one thing. What is up with Five Sauce in Australia currently now? They look like freaking supermodel vampires and I'm very okay with it. I also want to say that I don't know if you watch her or not, I think you know who she is, um, Carrie Fletcher. I've been watching Carrie for years and I've always loved her. But she's recently started doing vlogs, I think for the past few months since she started on PDHB Bang Bang. She usually does like two or so a week. And they're like my favorite videos right now. They're like my favorite things to watch. Every time she uploads one, I sit down and I watch it. And I don't know why, they just make me so happy. Like just her and how she edits them and how she does it. And the people she's with, like the cast members are hilarious and awesome. And if you have not watched them, you should check them out because they just, they put me in a really good mood. Last thing I want to say, we have got internet. We've gotten like actual, real good, real good, real good. I just said that. We have unlimited download. We have high speed. We have Netflix. I have Netflix. I now own Netflix. I watched Fuller House in under two days, and now I'm watching The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. And everything is good in the world. We finally get good internet, and I'm leaving. So. There we go. That's my update. I'll talk to you later. Have a good thing. Yeah, okay. I'm not bitter at all.